Hey folks, Linux Beanie here. Linux Mint 22.3 Xena has just been announced, and this one's a long-term support release through 2029. Let's screen share and see all the new features, from the refresh desktop tools to the major Cinnamon 6.6 .6 updates. Let's go. Mint 22.3 is built on Ubuntu Noble with Linux kernel 6.14. It focuses on polish, new troubleshooting tools, a revamped Cinnamon desktop, and improvements to XApps, Nemo, and Mint's system utilities. Let's go feature by feature. The old System Reports tool has been completely reworked and rebranded as System Information. It still gives crash and report details, but now includes four new pages. Here you see all connected USB devices grouped by controller, including speed and power usage. Great for debugging slow or disconnecting drives. You can check your graphics card, driver, and hardware acceleration support directly. This gives a deep look at internal components with driver info. And finally, BIOS details. Perfect for firm or secure boot troubleshooting. There's a brand new system administration tool that runs with administrator privileges. Right now, it focuses on the boot menu. You can choose to show or hide it, control timeout, or even add custom boot parameters. Super handy for multi-boot setups or kernel testing. Mint now includes XApp symbolic icons, a new project replacing GNOME's Adwaita symbolic icons. It keeps a consistent monochrome look for buttons and menus, clean and readable in both light and dark themes. Developers no longer need custom icons, which means your system stays visually unified. Cinnamon 6.6 .6 brings full integration of traditional layouts and IBUS input methods. So Japanese MOZC, Chinese Pinion, or any IBUS engine appears right alongside your layouts, both working on Wayland 2. The on-screen keyboard is now native, no more libcaribou, and supports those same input methods. The application menu has been redesigned. There's now a sidebar for your avatar, favorite apps, and places. Sections can be hidden or rearranged, and you can switch between layouts, full, compact, or even a minimal no sidebar view. Nemo 6.6 .6 introduces a brand new template manager, so you can create and manage file templates for one-click new documents. File operations can now be paused and resumed. Search accuracy also got a boost, using concurrent helpers and regex matching. And in split pane mode, Nemo now preserves the secondary location. Notifications now display missed event badges. The workspace switcher has a cleaner look. Only visible windows show their icons. There's a brand new Thunderbolt configuration tool and nightlight can stay permanently on. Muffin, the window manager, has more Wayland support, hot corners in full screen, and new fractional scaling options. XApps got love too. Time shift can now pause and resume snapshots, Warpinator adds IPv6 support and text messaging between computers. Hypnotics hides the cursor in full screen and properly forwards keyboard controls. All this means better integration across Mint's in-house apps. Captain can now install multiple packages at once via apt colon slash slash URLs. Update Manager shows a restart recommended warning in your tray after certain updates. Mint Backup adds an Include All button to quickly backup hidden files. Linux Mint 22.3 Xena is an ambitious, polished release. With kernel 6.14, Wayland friendly Cinnamon, and those handy admin tools, it's a great step up while keeping the classic Mint feel. This release is supported through 2029 with the same base used until 2026. So upgrades should be super easy. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment. Which Mint edition are you on? Like if you found this useful. Subscribe for more Linux friendly deep dives. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.